I welcome you early comers out here to our third annual low boat I-44 Winter National Shootout over a Arts Plus last night. It looks like we're gonna be in that same also. Now it's time for your super heavy clone division. First of two heats, here's your lineup. Out of Mexico, Missouri, it's Cole Campbell in the 22. To his outside, Daniel Carey out of Boonville in 44. Michael Rayburn in the 26. Chad Gray in 99, Junior. McDerris Trey in the 111. As they're coming down, it's gonna be Campbell, your race leader to lead the opening lap. Meanwhile, the 44 of Carey, one of our winners last night, tucked into a solid second. And Michael Rayburn's 26, still riding back in third. Rounding out of four. Campbell, looks like he's got that cart dialed in this afternoon early. Carey hot on his heels as they come roaring down the front straightaway. Campbell still in the lead. Carey lets him know he's back there. A little contact out of turn four. Nice and tight now. Here comes the 26 of Michael Rayburn. Looking to the inside, nothing happening. It's a three draft breakaway with Campbell. Hang it on, up in the upper blue. White flag out one more time for Campbell and Carey. Carey looks to the inside, Campbell shuts the door. Running them down at the line, whoa, almost a photo finish. But it's the 22 of Cole Campbell nipping the 44 of Daniel Carey at the line for the win in your first of two heats four. The Super Heavy Clone 400s. Thriller Photography, they've got four by six action shots from last night for only $1 each. And of course they are loaded, they are located, set up underneath the stairwell down by the pit concession stand. All right, heat race number two for your Super Heavy division. On the pole in the signature flooring, number eight, that's Springfield's Ryan Gilmore. To his outside, from out of Mulberry, Kansas, the double zero of James Starr. Row number two on the inside, Michael Parker from Liberty, Missouri in the 19. And in the 179 out of Fairgrove, it's Scott Lampy. Getting things started here very well after a opening night where we had a lot of action. Just a little bit of misunderstanding there. There'll be two heats for your clone super heavy. Your attention down in the pit area. Blue rookie heat number one. Blue rookie heat number two. You should be heading to the staging lane, please. Blue rookie heat number one. Blue rookie heat number two. You should be in the staging lane, please. That'll be followed by the junior animal division. on outside of row number two. It's the month of dirt here in the Cowan Civic Center next weekend. The antique tractor pulls will be in town and coming up two weeks from tonight, it's the Mad Dog Demolition Derby, always a crowd thriller 
and the following weekend, the 19th and the 20th, it'll be rounds three and four of your low boats, I-44 Speedway, winner shootout. Here they come, Gilmore brings them down and we're underway. Gilmore jumps out to the early lead. James Saar out of Albury, Kansas in that double zero now. Riding a solid second in the 19 of Parker, hanging on to third. One of our box stock feature winners, Ryan Gilmore out of Springfield, setting the pace quickly in this clone 400 qualifier. Opening up the stretch there, it is still Gilmore. Followed by Saar and Parker. Getting a feel for the track, you'll see several Carters enter in many different classes. Two to go that time at the stripe. And uh-oh, the trouble for the 19 of Parker as he goes to the infield. 19 out of the action, the white flag is out. We've got one more circuit around. Heading about a four, checkers in the air, Gilmore with the win of the eight. Saar will come home in the number two spot, and Lampy will finish up third in the 179.